Guys, barbecue chicken alert. This build is absolutely nuts. It has everything you need in Division 2 to absolutely dominate legendary difficulty. You're gonna wipe rooms in a couple seconds without breaking a sweat. The reason is quite simple. You are pretty goddamn overpowered. <laughs> How much power do you need? The answer is yes. This build is giving you more and more DPS, more and more crowd control, survivability. <laughs> Is not a problem as you may guess. It's absolutely amazing. Uncle Butcher in the building. Wait, another one. If you are new to my channel, hit that like, smash it up, or leave a hateful comment. It truly depends on your preference. Do whatever you want. So with that boring intro out of base, let's get into it. And I'm using pretty goddamn insane synergy between my talents and Build. I'm using ongoing directive setup, which is kind of really dope after rework. Now you are sharing basically bleed bullets to your teammates as well, and that ammo or those bullets will deal amplified weapon damage. So you are increasing your teammate DPS output immediately, but if you will wear survival specialization or use survival specialization, you will increase your efficiency even further. But before we continue, quick word from today's sponsor, Diving.net. If you don't have time or if you don't want to grind but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then these guys can help you all. For example, if you need Eagle Bro, easy money. I understand that you can get it in the game, but like I said, if you don't want to grind, you can ask for the help. These guys have been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews. And with my promo code AirBaby, you will have 15% discount on absolutely all services. It's an amazing deal, so maybe check these guys out. But now let's get back to my new ongoing directive setup. And the synergy between actually my talents and core build is kinda nuts if you think about that. I am applying multiple status effects with my Scorpio shotgun. I always start the fight with my Scorpio shotgun just to apply all the stacks, start my fight with galvanized talent, that's bonus armor to me and my teammates, and with all stacks applied you will get more damage on the enemy, and that's the moment when you have to switch to your second weapon, and in my case that's Vector with Sadie's talent. But for specialization, like I said, survivalist is absolutely amazing. You are getting extra protection from elites. Here we are sitting almost at 60% protection from elites. That's absolutely more than enough to survive anything in this game. Also, increased repair skill. You are healing yourself much better. Don't forget fire grenades for the crowd control reason really really handy and you can refill fire grenades simply switch when you are out of combat switch your setup and you will refill your grenades really easy and simple life hack so survival specialization is absolutely dope and med kit will heal not only you but your teammates as well so you will work something in between as combat magic but not really Sometimes it's really handy to heal your teammates and that armor regen is really nice, especially when you have that amount of protection from elites. You can kick in of course bonus armor, it works really well against stinger hives. For example, these changas can apply bleed effect on you, but if you have the bonus armor, easy money, you have armor regen of course by applying bleed all over the place. I mean it's it, it's absolutely gorgeous setup. By killing enemies, you are getting, of course, the extra amplified weapon damage. And you can apply bleed across the map with ongoing directive setup. And the main thing with Scorpio Shotgun, once you apply all the stacks, you are increasing incoming damage by 20% from all sources. This rule will be applied to your skills. So now Stinger Hive is dealing by 20% more damage. Your Assault Turret is dealing more 20% damage. And when you basically stack your Scorpio Shotgun switch to Tactical Vector, it has the highest rate of fire in the game if you don't have any buffs. Uh, for example, Chatterbox, of course, can reach 1400. 
um, but measured, you could have more rate of fire, but base rate of fire with no boost whatsoever, this is the best gun to use, say this is amplified weapon damage boost, it works really well, so 20% buff from Scorpio shotgun, add 20% amplified damage from say this, add ongoing directive buff, and you will have pretty goddamn ridiculous weapon damage as well in this build. For pistol I'm using TDR pistol with extra skill tier and in sync. In sync is really nice because it will increase weapon damage and skill damage and Yes, if you will play legendary difficulty with multiple directors applied, most likely you will be short on ammo, so in sync will work really well with your stinger hive and uh, of course assault turret. Just look at this mayhem. Easy money. Enemies have no chance whatsoever to survive. And yeah, I really really love this build. I was kind of surprised how really good this build performed. We went really quickly through the stronghold. Um, basically, yeah, we like completed it in 25-ish minutes. I know it's not a, not the best time. You can do it much quicker, but um, it, without breaking a sweat. So yeah, that, that was really nice run with this build. And you can easily go in front rows, absorb all the damage. You can apply bleed effect with Rigue Sprite Exotic Chest Piece. You are getting armor regen nonstop. With 5 enemies on bleed, you have 48% armor regen. I will repeat myself, my beautiful bastard. With 5 enemies, 48% armor regen. You are immortal, basically. Throw in the mix, galvanized talent. Mm. And Rigway Sprite Chest Piece is applying bleed effect all over the place. You can spray and pray. With Scorpio Shotgun, it's super easy. You can boom, 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 apply bleed effect on multiple enemies at once. You can stop those. You are receiving armor regen. I mean, this build is overall really dope, and that status effect will sit on enemies for quite some time. It's really nasty. Ongoing directive bleed, for, first of all, is really disgusting in PvP and PV. And of course, since you're applying shock with your Scorpio shotgun, it, it, it will deal some nice uh, damage as well. Uh, for the backpack, I'm using Bellastone Armory for armor regen reasons with armor core attribute, and I feel this is perfect balance. I have some decent armor, I have some weapon damage core attributes, and skill tiers. So yes, I think it's pretty nice uh, synergy between my core attributes in this one. Of course, you could use this build with full skill tier setup or maybe use with armor core attributes, but I think we need some skill tiers to be more efficient with Stinger Hive and Assault Turret. Stinger Hive by itself can kill enemies really easily, uh, and Assault Turret will survive much longer with the extra skill tiers, so I think, like I said, this is perfect synergy for me. Uh, gloves, knee pads, uh, ongoing directive, skill tiers, and uh, yeah, skill damage or status effect, it depends again what you want, I would recommend to roll everywhere status effect and maybe in one or two pieces skill damage, bye!